Hello, my name is Dr. Westerland. I'm very excited to share with you the framework that we will be using as we go through this course. This framework helps us organize our thinking around the ideas of uh, best quality education for English language learners. First, I would like to emphasize three ideas that this framework highlights that you look at, in, that you see in front of you. There are three key ideas I'd like to emphasize. First, this framework puts learners at the center by valuing their resources they bring to the classroom. We do not view them as students who do not speak English, but students who are learners first, who deserve exciting and rigorous learning, and English learners second. Our students bring many valuable linguistic, cultural, and experiential resources to our classrooms. We start with that and build on what they bring. Second, this framework is about scaffolding up, not differentiating down. That's a huge shift in our thinking. We provide our multilingual students with high challenge and high support. You'll be learning more about that in this course. Third, we don't view scaffolding as static supports, but scaffolding at two levels, as you can see in this framework, macro and micro. Macro scaffolding refers to the unit level cumulative knowledge building, how we structure and sequence activities so that learners can successfully participate in them. Micro scaffolding is also called interactional scaffolding and happens moment by moment in interactions with students. Some non-examples of scaffolding are pre-teaching vocabulary before learning or doing science or math or literature, or giving students a word bank or a worksheet. Instead, we'll be learning about sequencing lessons to assist learners towards autonomy and learning language in the interactions while students are engaged in disciplinary thinking and doing. The entire course is built around this framework. I hope you are as excited about this course as I was when I was designing it. Mm -hmm.